At the time, the Eiffel Tower was a true technical feat, and above all, when you look closely, a sustainable building before its time. Once the parts had been formed, the rough iron was sent to the Parisian suburbs where Gustave Eiffel's workshops were located. Most of the assembly was done there to minimize the work at the site. This was how the deadlines could be met and the nuisances minimized. Nowadays, we are able to adopt a whole new paradigm called productization. So the traditional construction process rely on what we call bespoke design. So each project is designed independently, constructed independently. So there is very limited knowledge reuse across different projects. So with productization, we are trying to bring some of the best practices from the manufacturing industries like modularity into construction industry. So what we do is we take a building and break it down into uh, various modules, interchangeable modules, by defining standard interfaces. So this allows us the, the flexibility of customizing the building based on individual project needs, but at the same time reduce greatly the time to construct, the time to design, and also the wastage for each building. So we are able to maximize the reuse across projects. Actually, productization is the direct heritage of Gustave Eiffel. Thinking modular allows us to strongly limit manufacturing costs. So the first thing that we did was basically to model the original shape of the Eiffel Tower in a, in a volume. And afterwards, we built a system that would basically assemble different modules to generate the, the tower. So this module would basically slice this volume into levels, would create pillars, slabs, and would position the different stairs to create a path from the ground to the top. So the way that we did it in the 3 experience platform was by using generative tools because the system needs to integrate the different constraints, the different design rules of those modules which are very specific. By using generative tool it's also a way to control exactly the design that you're going to have while securing the further steps of the projects. So productization is a, an excellent way that to, leads to circularity. So productization approach reduces the, you know, first, from a sustainability point of view, it reduces waste and carbon emissions through all the phases of the project, from design, construction, into operations. With productization, since we are breaking down the building into smaller uh, interchangeable modules, we can think of a future uh, scenario where we will be able to dismantle one module, uh, we to perform upgrades to the building by replacing that with the newer modules, for example. We can also think of reusing the modules that have been dismantled into uh, other buildings where these can be repurposed. So this approach fully supports the circular economy uh, principles. Productization is ultimately a reflection of this whole new tower project the possibility to anticipate and to virtually simulate every decision, the collaboration between all the stakeholders on the 3D Experience platform, no matter where they are and what their role is, this is our solution to start building tomorrow in a more sustainable and collaborative way. Of course, this project is virtual, but its implications are real. It shows us that it is possible today to profoundly transform the infrastructure and city sector at all steps in order to make it ready for a sustainable tomorrow.